Hi friends, this is episode 54 of the Make Saints podcast. I'm Drew Downs. And this one is called Picking the Microphone. Now, I when I relaunched my podcast last week and, and uh, I shared with you a bit of why I was interested in podcasting, uh, you know, 14, 15 years ago and why I finally got started and, and uh, what, what kind of got me to stop. And, and I shared a little bit of, of that trajectory with you, but I also uh, wanted to share a little bit more. So this is kind of a, a, a sibling podcast to that last one, but there's something different to it. And, uh, and you'll see why in a second. I want to start with that sense um, and just the, the remembering uh, about, you know, what it, what it felt like 15 years ago. And so, you know, not everyone remembers, not everyone was, was old enough <laughs> to remember. But uh, even that time 15 years ago, uh, you know, I, I, it, was, it was hard enough for me to even think about, like, getting a new computer, <laughs> uh, let alone, you know, getting, knowing how to, you know, how to do this, right? So it, it required a computer and a microphone and software to process your uh, podcast. And then it also required a place to put your podcast. And then, and then also the, the twist of trying to like get your podcast into iTunes. Right? So, so there's, a, there's a bunch of pieces, um, a bunch of it, some of it being hard technology, like hardwired technology that you have to own and then figure out how to use. And some of it's software, and some of it is just like the sequence, like how does this work? So there's, you can see how the barriers to entry into this medium uh, were significant, particularly when there were, there, you know, it's not like we had places we knew where to go. It's not just you could, it's not just as if you could go and get a thing, plug it in and just do it. it you know, doing that would be a lot of trial and error. Um, we w wanting to know where the right things were and the right ways to use it because none of the stuff like came in the box. And, and then a few years later, the, you know, we actually had uh, the thing come in a box and that was the phone and the phone itself, the microphone that was that got pretty good. And you actually could record on it. And soon after that moment, services developed in which you could record on your phone a podcast and then and then send it into us onto their their server and suddenly you could have a podcast up and running in 10 minutes the whole thing was ridiculously easy and potent and people some people did that and and it meanwhile you know the whole medium has grown you know it's grown every year as people got into it but the barriers to entry remained high until this moment and suddenly the barriers are low but but notice also what happened in the midst of that time frame when 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 companies were were trying to produce these things so that we could all join in and, and do this uh podcasting thing together and uh one of the things that that came along was was people started uh, picking, picking at the things because you had uh, the growth of these podcasts and you started hearing things, uh, hearing really good podcasts that are coming along and, and we're needing to uh, make sure that we all sound really good. So, so just at the exact time that uh, the barrier to entry got low enough uh, that everyone could join into this uh, wonderful stream that we could all jump into, uh, suddenly people get to say, well, the sound quality of your podcast was terrible. I couldn't even listen to it. Couldn't even listen, right? And, you, and it, 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 suddenly this becomes the thing. And, and, and meanwhile, the, the podcasters themselves, oh, you know, start, start having to say things, spending minutes 
uh, precious minutes of their podcast uh, uh, explaining why their microphone sounds so terrible because they're not in their usual setup and they're using their travel microphone, which was their old microphone and it's not any good anymore. So, but it's what they, they travel. You know, and so they're spending all this time that I don't care about. Most people don't care a lick about it, but those, those few people, those few obsessed with the sound quality uh, need that, oh, okay, I I'm willing to stick around you. It's not that you're bad at your job. Uh, it's that you're, you're just using the backup microphone. Okay, okay. Um, that, whole, that whole thing uh, and brings the barrier back up. Oh, you can't just run out to Best Buy and get a $30 microphone. That's just not gonna do it here, you know? No, you need, you need. Any quality, quality, quality microphone, right? The right microphone. And suddenly, this thing in which you're already having a hard enough time because you're like trying to participate in this grand stream and you're watching these professional swimmers. <laughs> <laughs> like swim by you because they are, you know, amazing. And you're in the same stream and suddenly you're realizing like, wow, um, right now that, you know, that swimmer has thousands of people listening to their show. Oh man. You know, and you're, and so suddenly the person who's, who's, who's put a couple of podcasts out into the ether is compare, is having to compare themselves to, uh, professional broadcasters who've been at it for 30 years. Yeah. And, and at the same time, we're developing the same thing with the influencers. And so suddenly you have people spending sixty, seventy thousand dollars $70,000 renovating uh, a spare room in their house. You know, the soundproofing it, lighting it, making the whole thing look great. Uh, spending it on all this technology, becoming camera snobs and microphone snobs and developing this whole like thing in which they have a go kit, uh, you know, with, with, the, with their, you know, microphones for four different kinds of conditions. And, uh, and this, is, this becomes, you know, the expectation, right? This becomes the thing that we see and we all think, man, I... Uh, uh, I don't have $60,000 to spend on this junk. Not for the, you know, 10 subscribers. No, not for me. And meanwhile, or we say, yeah, and we jump in and we do all the tips and tricks and we, and we try and we do all the stuff and, you know, and, you know, the, the guaranteed thousand followers within two months or whatever. And then they don't. <laughs> You know, it works for some, it doesn't for everybody. What are we left with, right? Where are we in this whole thing? Ultimately, we have all these people comparing ourselves to professionals. And where does that get us? But I think we're in a moment. And I, I'm not alone in this. It's clearly something other people are, are thinking of and doing, but it's this rejecting the pretense that we're professionals, right? We're not, you know, most of us aren't. You know, I, I, and, and really, uh, I don't think most podcast listeners from the beginning really wanted to compare the person who was recording in their office with, you know, a simple microphone set up. Uh, I don't think they were comparing that person to, you know, serial. I don't think, I don't think that's how people were really thinking of it. The obsession with style prevents people of substance from sharing with others. And I think that same obsession with style allows people with less substance to hide that behind the sheen of something real, professional quality. Like that's, they need to be listened to. 
I think we're, I think we're like giving up on that. I think, I think this doesn't feel real to people and people want real again. I think we're over, or at least we're getting over that sense in which we all have to be professionals. We're not, we're not, and we're not expecting it of everybody. There, there are some that do, but they're in the minority. Right. One of my favorite podcasts I listen to every every week is uh, on the media. And in one of the recent episodes, they talked about po this po the podcast bust that uh, it, uh, in 2023 suddenly all of the sort of big corporate podcasting eight groups um, those who have, who have invested heavily in podcasting and making really quality, amazing programs are making huge cuts, you know, from Gimlet to NPR. And this sort of sense of, of what's happening in all of this, this space, this like con contracting, um, is happening at the same time that podcasting is growing as a medium, continues to grow, continues to expand. More and more and more people are listening to more and more and more podcasts. <laughs> and the people... These ones, the professionals, are the ones where it's shrinking. And it's really a tale of two stories, actually. One is that the money to produce a professional podcast is, it takes a lot of it, and there isn't yet enough revenue to make that affordable. And yet, podcasting continues to grow. The medium continues to grow. It's not shrinking. It's growing at the same time. And, was, I mean, really, it's growing on the backs of real people wanting real people engaging with real people. Not just the professional class producing stories for them. It's a very interesting moment. So I think what it tells me is that this isn't about picking the right microphone. It's picking up the microphone and sharing some of what we are and sharing the microphone with others to help them share what they are, right? offering what we have to other people. I think this is, this is it. I think this is what we want. We want real. So pick up your microphone and share. This is the Make Saints podcast. I am so glad you are here. I'm so excited to hear what you have to say. You are awesome, so be awesome.